She's done it again. Titmus has done it again. Two gold medals, the 200 and the 400. Only the great Shane Gould, and of course Ian Thorpe, has ever won the 200 and the 400 for Australia at the Olympic Games. What a magnificent race. It all augurs well now for the 800 metres where she meets Ledecky again. That is going to be the challenge. Well, I listened to her father and her father said, she's a racer. She's got guts. She's got determination. I know that, but she's got Dean Boxall in a corner, who is a great tactician, who's got her cherry ripe, ready to race these games. However, this is the thing that impressed me most about Ariane. She said, they said, why aren't you celebrating? You've just beat the greatest swimmer of all time. She said, I don't want to celebrate yet. I still have another race to go. So she's thinking ahead, and that's all due to the coach, who will have been priming her right up. Don't overdo it, you've still got another race to go. So I look forward to the next race. Hands up, Australia, if you want to see the next race. race. Hands up! Can Titmus beat the decky, beat the goat, and become Australia's first goat? the Tasmanian goat, the greatest of all time. But what a day for Australia. Three gold medals, one of our best days ever. And the boys, Kyle Chalmers, we're looking forward to him racing. Caleb, Caleb Dressel, we're looking forward to that. But don't forget Kolesnikov, the Russian kid. Oh, this is gonna be a great race. The 100 metres freestyle, the premier event. So we've got that to look forward to. Oh, I've got to take my hat off to young Thomas Neal, the way he finished and got us into the bronze medal. That was a magnificent swim, son. Well done, Thomas. Finally, what do I tap my lid to? Is the Australian Hockey Roo goalkeeper. This is international news, but I don't know if they'll pick it up, that she was inducted into Olympian for life. The Australian Hockey Roos goalkeeper. Olympian for life? Not because she's the greatest goalkeeper ever. She's good. But because of her work with COVID in Western Australia. She's a frontline nurse. Here we go. Rachel Lynch, you are a dead set Olympian for life. Well done.